Man Enough, a Bolanle Austin Peters production, borders on the pressure men face such as family pressure, being rejected by women, financial pressure and societal pressure in a man's quest to prove that he is man enough, including the stereotype perception that men shouldn't cry or show emotions. I was determined, man, to be the king of oil, sheep and water. <laughs> so as I end in any business, I can make my hands from a Greek. When we workers are tired of, you know, working for so long without any rest. Okubu just appeared, shouting, threatening, and pushing us beyond our limits. What are you doing? Huh? I was just trying to rest. Hey! See you! See you! So we are paying you now to rest and not to work, eh? Sir. Man Enough tells the story of three men, but in the real sense, it is the story of every man across the globe. That is what you get when you are a man unfortunate to be down, down the ladder. That is what you get. Plus event spoke to some attendees about their expectations in a man and if they think men should show emotions and here are some of the reactions we got. The quintessential African woman expects the man to be, well, aside from the tall, dark and handsome, um, you know, figure and um, narrative, tall, dark and handsome. They also expect the man to be God-fearing, to be, in short, put all that plenty food on not only the table for the family, but for generations to come. I think it's an African mentality. People in the Western world, they show their, I mean, they, they express themselves. They speak out when they feel uh, damaged. They speak out when they feel hurt. They speak out when they feel that something is not working out. And they talk a lot. But you know, this very African man, uh, you know, I can't, uh, I can't show my weakness. They say, similarly say it's weakness. I, I, you know, it just happens around, uh, across borders in Africa, and especially in Nigeria. So um, that should change. The situation right now, the way the, the world is going, we will need more uh, communication coming from the other side, from the, from the very similarly uh, perfect looking gentleman, yeah. No, no more male chauvinism, it's, it doesn't work. They just stay there and they die in silence. So more communication, be more in tune with what family wants from you, your children wants from you, and and it makes things a whole lot easier when you speak, when you talk, when you share, and then when you love. Coming from a home where um, my dad was a total, he was mushy in comparison to my mom, and my mom was more the stable, like the, the stronger force. Uh, I think it was a yin and yang, and you need that in any home. 
Um, so both people need to take assume roles in a relationship so that it can give the home some kind of stability. And if that means a man is able to express himself and express his emotions, then that's that's great. You know, I have a I have a partner as well, and um, he's also like an asset to society because I think a man who can express his his views and his opinions and his emotions, he becomes a better human being. Because if we suppress these emotions, we we take it out in other ways. We we become abusive, we become aggressive. And, uh, you know, just to avoid it cropping up into all these other forms, you can actually express it, speak about how you feel, and move past it. If men are not allowed to show their emotions, it makes up for a very unhealthy society, which is very obvious in our environment. Because, you know, if a man is not allowed to show his emotions, it means that he's not human. And God put emotions in all of us. So, you know, frustration, pent-up anxiety and all the rest of it might cause him to behave in a different way. But if he was allowed to just cry and say, this is my problem, he might just behave like a better person. Nowadays, people encourage their children, female children, to go to school. And um, you don't expect them to do less of work of a man as a child. So you expect that even as a a couple or as a married man and a woman you expect that both of them can join hands together to you know support the home it doesn't necessarily mean that the man should do everything as much as much as a woman is allowed to go to school and chase their dreams a man should also be supported well the long and short of the story yes some men choose to have emotions attached to who they are but if you ask my own personal opinion i think you should be yourself basically we majority of our problems in the world we are living today, all over the world, is because we let society dictate to us. You know, our society, we have a slogan or a thing that says, condition make crayfish bend, right? Now, because our structures and our setups forbids the guy to be vulnerable, to break down, to show emotion, yeah? What the man tends to do in under pressure is break and not bend anymore. The women bend under pressure, but the men break. Meanwhile, that means, that means condition doesn't make crayfish bend anymore. Condition makes crayfish break. So a lot of men break under pressure. You saw Tino, he, he broke, he killed himself. Women don't do that. There's just a lot of pressure. I agree that we should do we should do more stuff for men actually because there's a lot of women empowerment, training for women and all that stuff and it looks like nobody's doing anything for men and they really need to I mean we need to pay attention to these things because they're going through stuff. A lot of pressure. Men I honestly after reading this script I was like I don't want to be a man. <laughs> Never ever, right? Because I've had conversations and, you know, arguments with people about this thing, but I really didn't see it this way until I read the script and, I, uh, and we did this play. It made me appreciate men even more. Oh, and the technical... I can take the call. What does she want? I don't know. You don't know. I can expect you to believe that. Come on. Come on, what? You expect to believe that? Eh? I you don't... think I'm a fool at me? I really don't expect too much because when you don't expect too much, you don't get um, disappointed. Um, that's one. And then secondly, who says or what says a woman shouldn't work to make her own money? You know, um, there's, there's just been so much pressure, so much economical and financial and, you know, physical, emotional pressure on men these days. And it pushes them to do quite a number of things they're not supposed to do. The play stars actors like Tana Adelana. Gideon Okeke, Ayuayola, Juliana Oloyede, amongst others. It is a play to look out for. If I find out that there's any really in my garden again, I swear to God Almighty, I will prove to you who the man of this house is. I will show you that I am the man. Prove all the man.